take a platoon and search that perimeter. Those thunder lizards are hiding here somewhere. Yes, your raging rancidness. The rest of you come with me. My spuds need mashing. Can you say our grunts? Anyone really need starch? What happened to fries? Why can't we make fries? Oh, we're surrounded! There's thunderstorms everywhere, man! We're in a serious world of hurt, man! Oh. And we're out of beehive ammo, Doc. And our communicator has been blasted. Oh, look at this! My ballpoint pen leaked into my top pocket! Oh, man! My mom's gonna pull my head off! I'm not gonna make it! I'm not! Easy, squad! We're gonna be okay! Just hang in there! Reinforcements have to be on their way! We'll get out of here just as soon as... As soon as this bee bomb lands on our head. Wait, fellas. Ow, my this enemy soldier is hurt. That's his top luck, man. He's about to be even harder. Hold it, squad. The violence has to end somewhere. For <laughs> once, let's toss away our weapons and try to help. He needs medical attention. We must get him out of here. Come on. Ooh, ow, ow, easy, easy. Don't worry, amigo, you're gonna be okay. Hey, look, guys! It's our boys! We're safe, the man! Cavalry. Just in time. Just in time to find the terrible thunder lizards aiding and abetting the Thugasaur enemy. Huh? Well, guys, at least things can't get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, squad. But can you do this? Sentence the terrible thunder lizards, Doc Tari, Daisy Cutter, and Bodily Squad to 600 years of hard labor in Jurassic Penitentiary. Squad, what is it? Oh man, I was dreaming about it when we were sent to Jurassic Prison for a crime we didn't commit, man. That's in the past, Squad. The General has seen to it that we were given a second chance. Sure, Doc, but only if we smash those crafty little humans. Have we still haven't done that yet? Don't worry, boys. At sunup, we unleash our most diabolical human smashing weapon yet. Now get some rest. Cutter? What is it, Squad? Read me a story. Ow! Nice shot, Doc. Thank you. Good night, Cutter. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead! Leave me alone, Scooter, or I'll shove my foot so far up your nose when you sneeze, you'll tie my shoe! Come here! Ow! What are you... Stop it, Scooter! What are you... Ow! Check this out, Bill. I call it an elevator. It'll get us to the top of the tree without climbing. Ah! I walked out of here, Scooter! Almost there, buddy! Buddy, the top of the tree. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> top of the tree? What do you mean the top of the tree? <laughs> I want to go back down! Get me out of this tree, Scooter! Hmm, well, I haven't really figured out the going down part. What? You have got me trapped in the top of a giant tree for the rest of my life? Up here with you? Oh, the top has come to make the hurting stop! Well, boys, say hello to our new diabolical secret weapon. What is it? I have no idea. Here's the remote. Let me try a button. Well, that's interesting. Uh huh. Hey! Ah! No! 
Well, that could come in handy. Ah! Ah, no! Devastating. The device is truly devastating. I've done it! My time machine works! Ha <laughs> ha! And the fools at the university laughed at me! Move it! I got coming through! Fascinating. I'd almost believe that was some sort of primitive human life form. This way! I know they came this way, man! I sense that too, squad. I just know there's a human underfoot, guys! Come on! Prehistoric time too insane. Must go to... Save in time. Future. Yes, 1995. California, USA. Safer than here. Quick, Bill! In here! I think they're gone! Of course they're gone. We outsmarted them again because we are man. So you can just let go of my hand now, little scaredy cat. It's all gross and sweaty, but you just let go, Scooter! Uh, Bill, I'm over here. I'm not holding your hand. Well, then... Uh, no, no, please. Oh, no, not that, not that. Don't tell me my hand is being eaten by a... Jungle! Ah! <laughs> don't, don't eat me! Eat Scooter! He's chunky and soft and his teeth are filled with chocolate. Ah! Once more, the human subspecies have eluded us. How do such inferior beings outwit dino soldiers with our cunning wit and intelligence? How? We must unleash this diabolical device on the humans while we still know they are in the area. But, uh, Doc, we really don't know how to use the diabolical device. We will read the instruction manual. Squat, tell us what to do. Don't worry, guys. It says here very clearly, to control this weapon, you must pull the yellow lever. you don't see every day. Squad, give me those instructions. I'm sorry. The destruction the humans have wreaked on our planet is reaching critical mass. Just look at these earth-destroying debris the humans have littered our world with. This hideous thing called a leaf blower. Something called tar pits. <laughs> Clearly the humans' reign of destruction must be stopped now, before our entire dinosaur species is wiped out by their stupidity. General Galapagos, what do you have to report? Well, uh... Although we have some minor mishaps, I'm happy to report to the Jurassic Council that those two stupid humans will be no match for the terrible Thunder Lizards and their new diabolical weapon. Hmm, if I didn't know better, I'd say that's the terrible Thunder Lizards piloting a diabolical monster clown kind of device that appears to be destroying everything in its path. One day, kids, you'll look up the word extinct in the dictionary, and you'll see my picture. I just know it. to make our own lunches? I mean, isn't this your job, Mom? Making sandwiches? <laughs> sandwiches? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, isn't that like grounds for dismissal according to laws of momhood? Sorry, boys, it's mom's day off. That's right, guys. It's take our daughters to work day, and I think this would be as good a time as any for you boys to take on a little responsibility of your own. Today's your sister's day. Bye, all. I'm off to hit the streets in search of a news story. Any news story in this dull, dull town of ours. Bye, Dad. Bye, honey. And boys, if you're gonna take on some responsibility, you can begin by picking up after yourselves. Everywhere you guys go, there's this pile of clutter. How about you do something with this mess before school today? Okay, Rye? Come on, Sandy. I'm behind you 110%, Mom. Oh, hey, quit. <laughs> Phew. Thanks, Clutter. Why do I do this every morning? Why? Zana? It's 7.30 in the morning. What are you doing here? What I do here at 7.30 every morning, Cop. I remind you that it's time for school. Now you say... School? I nearly forgot! It never changes. Let me go grab my lunch. Okay, let's go. And Cop, aren't you forgetting something? What? Look what you're wearing, Cop. Pajamas, a torn t-shirt, fuzzy slippers. Are you sure you want to go to school looking like that? Think, Cop. Think. Oh, boy. You're right, Vanna. I'm not even dressed. Hide it, hide it, hide it, oh. It's off to learn I go. Clutter, now you have to stay home. School is no place for a pile of confused clutter. <laughs> oh, no, Larry Laundry Pile. You'll get no sympathy from me. No pets in the classroom. Except teacher's pet, of course. And we all know who that is. <laughs> all right, that's enough from you. Now go on. The boys will be home soon. Go on. Be gone with you. Say, you guys, what's that in the road? It's a turtle. <gasps> Look out! That turtle's gonna get squished. We've gotta do something. Oh, I can't bear to watch that innocent creature get squished. There's only one thing to do. Oh, are you okay? Oh, poor little guy. Squished. He's been a turtle pancake. He must be trying to get back to the stream. We better help him find it before he gets squashed. But we'll miss the school bus. What about school? Vanna, which is more important? Going to school to learn all that information or helping this, uh, oh, this, uh, this porcupine to survive? Here we are. Run wild, run free, little turtle. Huh. Now, what's that all about? We're going the wrong way. Huh? We gotta save him. <laughs> Wind. Knocked out. <laughs> Clutter, do something. Ow! You've got to tame the turtle. <laughs> uh, that's a little extreme, Clutter. Gee, tough porcupine. That's it. You're right, cop. Right? Ryan Keith, that is not a porcupine. Exactly. And it's not a turtle either. It's a tortoise, a land creature. Oh, my heavens. We could have drowned the little guy. Oh, you little nanny. We are so sorry. Nanny, what a world. That could have been a disaster. <laughs> I'll tell you what's a disaster. Our lunches are floating away. <gasps> Oh, great. Our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And we worked so hard making them. We got to do something. Clutter. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to regret doing this. <laughs> All right. We're seaworthy. R, 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 mateys. Who's with me? R, R, R. 
Come on, Vanna. How do I get into these situ... Oh, I... Well, if it's not dangerous... Oh! That's a tiny mud puddle, Vanna. <laughs> I think you'll be safe. Oh, all right. And you thought this would be dangerous. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vanna, it's real dangerous out here in this mud puddle. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. We can capsize and get spattered with mud. Oh! <laughs> Our tiny ship could be tossed. <laughs> <laughs> I said, trouble. Okay, okay, don't sweat it, Vanna. My mom brought me back this from Hawaii. Why? What did I do? <laughs> gotcha! Where are we going, Ryan? I don't know, Way. Looks like we're gonna be washed out to sea. You gotta stop this crazy thing! I'm trying! Plus, stop. Don't feel well. See, sick. Excuse me. Uh, guys? Clutter? Uh. Oh boy. Hang on, everyone! That's the great part about reading. You can see in your head things that aren't really possible. Yeah, I mean, you really can't go for a magic carpet ride? You can in here, honey. You can in here. Sheesh. Look at this place. There's never anything to report. Nothing ever happens here. Nothing. Not one interesting thing in the whole town. I have decided not to destroy Earth after all. It is a peaceful place and must continue to live in harmony. Nothing. Just nothing going on. Uh, might as well get my hair cut. <laughs> Go the bus and take clutter every morning. Nah, that's enough fun for one morning, clutter. Now go on, go home, and stay out of trouble. <laughs> oh no, not this time. I'm not falling for it this time. Fun is over. It's time for school. <laughs> Come on, let's go to school before any other weird stuff happens. Nothing. Nothing ever happens. <laughs> 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 